Cameron, now I have to take you away from the grand final. I am compelled to ask you about the Melbourne Storm yep. situation this week. Frank Panisi was on mm -hmm. our Melbourne station yesterday because the question is asked about the culture at Melbourne. Yes. And, you know, Cameron, whether you like it or not, you've left. Cooper Cronk's left. Um, Billy Slater, great leaders yep. the club has had. Ryan and Hoffman. People are looking at a newer... Ryan Hoffman. People are looking at a newer breed, but at the top it's the same people. It's Craig Bellamy. Mm. It's Frank Panisi. So Frank Panisi was on SEN yesterday when asked about, does Melbourne have a culture problem? This mm. was Frank's answer. Okay. Look, any time there, there is an incident in the club, it, it, it's a problem, but it certainly doesn't... Uh, it's not widespread, it, and it's... Uh, you know, again, it's any, any great cultures, any, any cultures at all, We'll face uh, moments of adversity and challenging times, and you know, some, uh, times some not, not nice moments. But it's 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 how the people in the club react. That that's always a test of our culture. All right, that was Frank mm. Santi yesterday. Now, first of all, I ask you probably an emotion-based question. Mm. Does it disappoint you that oh. you find former teammates in the club in embroiled in what's happened this week? Oh, Vossi, absolutely. I'm I'm extremely disappointed with um, what what I'd seen and and was told had happened uh, post that prelim final. And and I know I'm, I'm not a part of... I haven't been a part of the club this year. I wasn't playing there. Um, but they are former teammates of mine. And, and it's the club that I played my entire career at. So I'm very proud of you know, what myself and guys like, as you mentioned before, Billy Cooper, Ryan Hoffman, Dallas Johnson, and even before us, you know, guys like Matt Guy and Steve Kearney, uh, Robbie... All, the, all these great players, um, what what they sacrificed and... and, and what they put into <clears throat> the organisation to to make it what it is today, that's the disappointing thing. Is they that these players they they haven't just let themselves down in this moment and their current teammates and coaches, but it's their fans and and their members and the former players that have gone out and mm. and played for so long and put in so much effort to build up that organisation in in a in a place that's so foreign to rugby league. So much to the point, Vossi, in the early days, in the first couple of years down there, there, there was very few people that actually wanted the Melbourne Storm in the competition. They didn't want them mm. to survive. But all those players and staff members and, and their families that moved away from um, their hometowns to be in Melbourne, um, you know, they forged on and they persevered and they built the club into what is considered as one of the the, the greatest sporting organisations in this country. So for these players to, to go out and, and make such, you know, there's no other word for it, dumb choices... It is really disappointing. I must, I must say, and you know, I'm being completely honest there, it's, it's extremely, extremely disappointing. But as Frank mentioned, you know, the one thing that I, I, I'm very confident about is this will, this will be dealt with um, appropri appropriately in-house. And I don't think it's a widespread problem. I, I, well, I don't think it is. I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. Now, I understand that in society, you know, there's some, there's some issues out there um, with drugs and young people and all that sort of stuff, but at the end of the day, these guys they're in a they're in a very different position to most other young people out there in in the normal world. Can I ask you this, Cameron? Um, and 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 I thank you for being so candid. Mm. Uh, do you think now, and you are a media commentator, not just former Melbourne Storm player right now? Yep. Do you think the club should have got on the front foot sooner? See, it's in a yep. week where the Warriors dealt with the Reese Walsh situation, which mm -hmm. was different. There was criminality there. There was yes. a criminal act mm. caught in possession, but the young bloke <clears throat> fronted up. We didn't wait for an NRL integrity unit. We didn't even wait for a court case. Yeah. They, they just got on the front foot. Yep. And that was dealt with. It was, it was almost refreshing. I, I don't want to <laughs> talk about you know, yeah. a crime in a positive manner, but you know what I mean? It was, it yeah, was most uh, un-rugby league. Well, should this have been dealt with along the same lines? Like, look, they are employees of Melbourne, yeah. ahead of being of the NRL. Mm. Well, that's right, and and I think what what you're saying there, Vossi, is I, I think everyone, particularly league fans, they 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 appreciated how quickly uh, the Warriors um, addressed the situation. I think that was the case, and, mm. and I think um, you know, I think if Melbourne had their time again, and and you know. Um, they they may not agree with this, but I, I think they they probably should have got on the front foot quicker and and addressed it like they. I only learnt about it as I walked into the Dally M ceremony in Brisbane. Yeah. That's when I learnt about it, and I think that's when it unfolded. But it just it looked awkward, and and I could sense how uh, awkward that Brandon Smith and Cameron Munster in particular they felt sitting there at those tables. Um, you know, they were very quiet, very very unlike themselves where they're usually upbeat and, and um, you know lively characters 
And, uh, you know, I think, was it left to Craig Bellamy? Um, to address yeah, the media after been, after yeah, he received the the coach yeah, of the year award. award, yeah, I think that was I, awkward. I think, um, <clears throat> yeah, look, I, I think you know the, a club official should have got up in front of the media straight straight up, knocked it on the head, and, and got it out of mm. the way, and, and allowed now this yeah. process to happen, and 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 allow the findings to to come out.